Hello, 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 hello. We're back with another, another beach pour on a charcuterie board. Okay, so charcuterie, cheese board, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I went ham. I bought a whole bunch of these and I just wanted to create a family of boards that look really, really good together. So what I did was I fixed up the back of this. Oh, and this one is heavy, okay? This one is heavy, right? Look how thick that wood is. It, it's a, a heavy piece of wood. And it had like a little hole here for like a string. I just cut the string off. And I'm only going to um, put stuff on this side of the board. Even though I thought about this side of the board, I just kind of want to do this side of the board. So as you can see, this is kind of giving you an idea. This is my mark. Um, and I just kind of want to do like a little beach pour situation just on this side of the board, um, even though I lined the whole thing. But um, I'm going to do this one thing that I saw um, another creator do. And what she did was apply the wave first with no color, no nothing and then came back the next day and applied the second wave, but she used color on that one. So because the back of this has that, you know, nice tan color like you would see on a beach, um, it's perfect and it only makes sense. So the clear resin that I'm going to use is already mixed up. I literally just poured this out a little, a little bit ago, and I also have some white that I mixed up. Uh, I used a, hold on, let me show you. I used this right here, a resin paste and um, alcohol ink, okay, for this. And I've had it out now for quite a while. And so I'm running out of working time. So I need to go ahead and pour this real quick. So basically all I'm gonna do is spread a little bit of clear resin on here, kind of figure out where my pattern is. Um, so, this is my mark and I'm gonna somehow come over this way, you know, do this side. So um, let's go ahead and get to work. Now we're gonna start with the first pour. That includes clear resin and I'll spread the clear resin over the area that I want to cover. Being really careful to make sure that it's spread evenly and that I get resin all the way up to the edges. Now that that is complete, now we're gonna get out any air bubbles with the torch and then warm up the resin a little bit because I waited for a while to spread it to make sure that it you know it, it self levels and covers all of the surface area now I'm gonna pour the white for the wave being really careful to make sure that I just skim the edge of the clear resin. I want a nice thick band of white and then sprinkle some extra white so that when I start to blow it with the heat gun that it will continue to move upward. So right now I'm just heating up the white resin, getting it ready and then blow. Now that I've created the wave, I'm going to go back over those little areas where the white just kind of left the edge and just reinforce the edge with a little bit more white resin and then blend those two areas together using the torch and the heat gun.
That is so satisfying. Now, one day later, let's look and see what that wave looks like. So satisfying. Look at that. Just look at that. So beautiful. Now we're ready for the second pour. I've already mixed up the colors and this time I'm going to add opaque colors. So first we're going to get that deep blue for the deep blue ocean and make sure and spread that really well with the popsicle stick. I'm also going to kind of put it off to the side as well. Make sure that it covers the side and then start pouring the other colors. Next is the teal. as the ocean gets a little bit more shallow. And then lastly, clear. And then make sure that everything is well spread together. Now it's time for the white of the wave. Now one thing I did learn about this particular process is that I should leave the white resin to thicken up a little bit more. For this particular pour, the white wasn't as thick as I really wanted it to be. And you can tell by the way I'm spreading it, how it just kind of, it, it, you know, it, it doesn't leave that pretty line like it did with the first pour. It's time for day two and the third pour. Now this time I am going to also put colors down, but these colors are not opaque. These colors are clear. So this is the same colors. However, I used, I used alcohol inks to color them so that it doesn't appear as opaque as the last layer. And so we put the deep blue down. Now we have the teal. And once again, we're gonna put a little clear at the edge before we blow the wave. This time I waited for the white to thicken up a little bit more. And you can tell by the way it lays. So now we're warming it up and then blowing it. Although <clears throat> something that I learned doing this was even though it was a little bit thicker, I could have let it thicken up a little bit more. I could tell. It was a little bit different than the very first one. Now we're going to wait one more day to see what it looked like. And oh my gosh, it did not disappoint. I did go back and put a little extra white along the edge of that last wave, but it did not disappoint. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I absolutely freaking love this. I love the way it turned out. Here it is in the sun so you can see it. You can see three distinct waves and then even even uh, it falls over the side and I'm okay with that. It was beautiful. It's so beautiful. Absolutely love it. And then so now you can see how how it falls over the side and I sanded the bottom so it's nice and clean. I absolutely love this. <laughs> 